ring finger on the seventh fret of the D string, middle finger on the sixth fret of the next string, the G string, and then index finger is going to cover the uh, fifth fret of the B in the, in the E. So we're going to let that ring out. Okay? First chord. Ring finger I'm going to keep track of. I'm going to slide it down a half step. So I've got... But now what I have to do is kind of change what's going on with my index and my and my middle finger. So next thing we're going to do is going to have the uh, index finger on the fourth fret of the G string and then middle finger on the fifth fret of the B. And this is actually a, an inverted D major shape. I have a lesson on guitar jams about this very chord voicing. So if you've already seen that lesson and worked on that stuff, this is, uh, you can see it's going to come in handy again. So we've got uh, so that one, then back up to A, and then that inversion again, and it's actually, I mean, you could call it like an E major triad, actually, um, but really it's just part of a, part of a riff, so we got that one, the next one, and then both of them again, but quicker, and then that inverted D major shape here just goes down a whole step to where it would be a D. And then you can let the, you know, you can do the, uh, the open D string. And I'm able to stop the note just with my right hand after I pick it. Like that. So here's the whole thing. We've got a verse which is made up of all the same chords. With an alternate version. And then the chorus is just, it doesn't resolve to that A, it keeps going the main part until the last time. You know, finally when he says, uh, you know, finally, um, oh, living is God, uh, 